Welcome to my Design 101 series. The first thing I will show you is how to build a starter ship and what to keep in mind. We will go through five steps of building a ship. Interior design, exterior design, power groups, testing and fixing. In this episode you will learn how to design an interior and how to efficiently handle it with one person. To get started let's build a 3x3 frame so that you have a base to work by. The now marked spot is where the turn axis of your ship will be. Try to design your ship with the ship's belly around this point. The first goal is to add our main components. In the case of a starter ship, this is our extractor and storage. While designing your interior, it is wise to keep a general idea of the outside. If you have a rough picture in your head how the outside should look like, try to integrate this into your interior design. I placed the generators in the same room as the containers because I wanted to keep the ship compact. If you build along, it will be totally possible to build a section longer and separate storage from the engine room. In the next step, I combine generators with batteries and power cells. This is a design choice that is discussed a lot in the community and I will produce a separate video where I explain how it works. In the front section we start by adding the refineries, so that the distance between refineries and extractors is as low as possible. In higher tiers this loses relevance because you get access to ACTRs, but in T0 this is the best way in my opinion. The access to the bridge should be easy and fast, so that you can avoid Skrills or Pirate as quick as possible. We'll place it on the second floor to keep the ship compact. Please note, this is the only cockpit that can be mounted this way. Let's extend the front so that we can build our missing parts. Objects that are too in length but only have to be accessed by one side are perfect for those tight fits. And while we are at it, let's divide the rooms. This has the benefit of lowering the FPS impact and reduce the chance of fire spreading. To make the bridge accessible in a tight space, one could use a spiral staircase. You could use an elevator, but it's too slow to be any use to us. We extend the room behind the bridge to contain the life support and defense. Later the cargo pad will be replaced by an armor generator. These are the things you want quick access from the cockpit. I don't like the way my front looks and I'm still missing a key component, so let's change that. While extending the front, I make room to build a cargo teleporter and some tool storage for when you are doing trading and find something interesting. To add a flavor to both the outside and inside of the ship, I add some windows. Those are more for aesthetics than function, so you can remove them if you don't like the looks. We have everything that we need now on the ship, with the exception of lights and teleporter. First I will add the lights. At the end, I will place a teleporter. When you start to gain some gameplay experience, you can add extra rooms for the teleporter, but for the start I suggest to keep them in the main hall. This was the interior part of this ship. Next up we will have a look at the outside design and interior decor. If anything was unclear or you have tips for next time, please put them below, I will read them.